Hey, this is my final uh, video on this development here, but uh, I did manage to uh, do this test right now, and it is going to be a 755 millimeter uh, print that I'm doing. That's about uh, about 100 millimeters wide. Um, I did do some other tests for bed leveling uh, to verify that the bed was, uh, in fact, very level for this. Uh, just so you know, for the people who are wondering all the parts that I did to uh, make this longer, first of all, uh, this is a 1.5 meter extrusion from Open Builds. Uh, I also have a Mitsumi uh, 15 uh, base 3 uh, extrusion right there. It's about uh, 30 inches long that I cut. Uh, the bed that I'm using here, I was originally going to use this. Uh, one eighth inch piece from Home Depot, but uh, I wanted to try something wider just so I had other options to use this printer for. Uh, so I ended up getting this uh, kick plate from Home Depot. And uh, also I needed about 12 um, thumb screws, uh, M3, about 20 millimeter screws, uh, also, uh, from, uh, these wheels are open builds. Uh, there's, uh, only six of them here. Uh, probably part of the kit would be better. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. It's, uh, working pretty well. Oh, I also needed some extensions for the end stop and for the motor. Some people were thinking this motor heats up, but actually this motor does just fine. It, uh, does not get that hot but there you have it uh, also uh, this will print about uh, 150 uh, millimeters wide um, but you know what I think it can actually do about 170 I might have to extend it out more to do 170 honestly don't want to find out right now but uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know, and I'll get the, uh, the rest of the files on Thingverse when I have a chance. Oh, just so you can see the bottom. You can see that I've uh, made a number of uh, parts for uh, the bed to connect to, and uh, the end pieces are actually the hardest ones uh, of everything that I made. All right. Hope you enjoyed it.